you know, you could thank him for every single time you deploy to iOS, every single time, you know, you manage to build and it doesn't fail. If it fails, don't blame him. That's yeah. probably somebody else. Um, he's also the VP of Cordova, uh, which is a, a, a nice title. <laughs> the title. Um, Can you guys hear me? Yeah. yeah. All, right. All right, I'm just going to let him take it from here. All right. Uh, thanks, Steve. Um, my talk today is about loading native plugins using PhoneGap Content Sync. Who am I? Uh, most of you know me as a um, contributor to Cordova iOS. I also primarily maintain iOS Deploy and iOS Sim. And you can contact me anytime from my Twitter handle, um, Shazron. So a lot of you don't know what PhoneGap Content Sync is. I think Bruce uh, touched on it a little bit. So Content Sync is uh, basically hot reloading uh, web assets for your, your, your app so you don't have to redeploy your app. It's explicitly allowed by Apple, so you don't have to worry about um, getting rejected. And the caveat is only for items that are processed by WebKit. So until now. So, <laughs> so what is nat native plugin content sync? It's, um, it uses PhoneGap um, content sync, but it allows you to update or add a native plugin dynamically. Um, so you, your binary code can be loaded anytime you want. It allows you a faster deploy cycle to customers. For example, you want to deploy a hotfix, um, faster development cycle too. It uses documented public APIs. Of course, it's open source. But the big question is, is it for App Store apps? I know what you're thinking, but no. Unfortunately, the plugin uh, needs to be signed by an enterprise or developer cert, which uh, has to be the same cert signed by your app itself. Unfortunately, you know, apps, App Store apps are signed by Apple's secret cert, so unless you have access to that, you can't hot deploy. And it uses um, something new in iOS 8 called um, iOS uh, Dynamic Frameworks. So your mileage might, might vary. Um, it uses a documented public API, so you should be okay. I'm gonna give out a demo. Um, if you wanna play along in the audience, that's the uh, URL and github.com slash phone gap slash native plugin sync demo. All right. Okay. I've already... Um, <clears throat> You just need to run one one command. I'm using npm scripts um, to deploy this to my app. And what you see on the left is my device right now. Let's give it a half a minute to build and run. Should be pretty quick, I hope. If not, I'll have to say some jokes. Oh, the, the array, arrays, no. Okay, it's almost deploying to my phone. <clears throat> As you can see, the, um, the app on the left is slowly loading because we're uh, attaching a debugger. And on the right, you'll see the debug output, uh, which is important uh, for uh, the feature I'm gonna show you later. All right, so you'll see a white screen because it's slowly loading. All right. So you can see two buttons. Um, there's one button. Um, I, I purposely made a very simple echo plugin so um, to demonstrate the um, a mistake in the plugin and updating the plugin dynamic, dynamically. So I'm going to uh, press the uh, echo test button. So as you can see, I, I had an alert uh, with the results from the Echo plugin, and there's a bug. <laughs> there's a bug, it, it has a double, double Echo. So I don't want to um, 
redeploy the app. I already deployed it to like a thousand machines, uh, phones. So this is what I, I can do. All right. I'm going to edit the plugin right now. All right. So let's look at the, can you guys see that? So this is the, um, the only function in the uh, echo plugin. As you can see, there's a mistake in it. There's a double um, um, echoing happening. So just to, just to um, show that I'm, it's not all smoke and mirrors. Somebody give me a random word. Phone, phone gap. Okay, I'll go phone gap random. Right? I can type. Okay, so once I deploy this plugin, you'll see the original uh, text and this random random string. Um, I'll show you a little bit of uh, how the Echo plugin looks like. Um, to deploy an updated plugin, obviously you can't have the same name. Objective-C doesn't allow you to have two classes of the same name. So what this plugin does is it appends a namespace to the name um, at compile time. So um, the plugin name is echo plugin, but I'm going to prefix v101 in front of it. And I'll just build it again. I'll package it up. While that's running, I'll run my HTTP server, which serves my um, content sync. Um, okay, let's check on the uh, packager. So uh, what the packager does is uh, package the um, the Echo plugin into a zip file for a deployment. Once that's done, I can go back to my app. If you look to your left, the app, there's a second button at the bottom called content sync test. And I'll press that. You'll see it sync complete. And on the right here, the debug output, you see it loaded the V1 underscore zero one echo plugin. So if I press the echo test again, You'll see, that's the, uh, the result of the uh, dynamically updated um, native plugin. <laughs> so um, that demo is over, but let's go into the, um, how does it work? So you ha on the left, you have uh, the CD bit. CDV plugin package, which is a renamed uh, dot framework, just for um, identification, and you have your uh, app. So both of these have to have the same bundle ID. They have to be signed by the same um, cert, whether enterprise or uh, development. And obviously, they have to have the same provisioning profile. And in the CDV plugin itself, uh, there's an info.plist, plist, which lists the principal class, uh, which what class to load. And there's a dictionary with a plugin name. Uh, so if you know how Cordova uh, iOS works, they map, we map a fixed name, for example, echo plugin with the class name. So these two cor correspond to that. Obviously, it's not fully baked yet. Uh, there's, there's some problems uh, with it, but um, they're not insurmountable. 
Right now, I'm using a custom PhoneGap plugin content sync plugin. There's a pull request um, that I'm going to send after this. There's also a custom Cordova iOS 4 uh, platform. Um, because um, I'm loading um, CDV plugin, CVD plugin result um, twice, um, Objective C goes hay haywire, and some, some code like this kind of class doesn't work. So, yeah, that can be fixed. Um, as I mentioned, there's double loading of Curva classes, which can be fixed um, if we um, do dynamic loading of Curva. And there's no test yet. Um, it's hot off the press. Not exactly stable yet, but as I mentioned in my um, pr presentation, um, blurb i was going to bake a cake so <laughs> if you run my script npm npm run bake a cake you'll <laughs> go to my website where you can bake a cake <laughs> so um i just want to put in a plug plug in for this um um uh, call for contributions for cordova um don't think that you need to write code to contribute. You can file issues, write docs, um, anything you can. Um, thank you. Awesome. That was a really cool demo.